Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 here. This is with the weekly mini reading for week commencing the 23rd of March through to the 30th of March. I just want to say um, on the 24th of March we have the Aries New Moon. <clears throat> and this is a sign of challenging behaviours, sickness and grief and loss. It brings up karmic wounds, which is very significant at the moment. It's conjunct with Chiron, and Chiron is a healer full of wisdom and unconditional love. Okay, so this is very positive. So Chiron will help you to learn how to heal yourself and others with compassion and empathy. So if you do anything this week, have compassion and empathy for yourself and for others out there. Everyone's going through a tough time, but have that compassion, have that love in your heart, okay? We're all going through this. This is a good time for fresh starts. So it's like the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So this is a good time for fresh starts to turn over a new leaf, start a new project, and to question your old habits, behaviours and beliefs. So go. it's the time for going within. You know, look at, look at your belief patterns. Look at your behaviours. Go within. This is a healing moon. Okay, this is a very healing moon. Okay, so I've got three piles, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So just picking up on some of the energies for the week. Okay, so let's see what we've got for Monday, Tuesday. We have Father Healing. Your personal power increases as you give any Father related issues to heaven. So I know a lot of us out there maybe had issues with a parent and a Father figure in particular. It may not have been a Father but a Father figure. Okay, and it's learning to forgive as Chiron in the Aries New Moon is here to help us heal and change beliefs and patterns of behaviour. So give these issues that you have over to heaven. Help heal them. Forgive. Forgive yourself and forgive the person, okay? It's in the past. And by doing this, you will free yourself up, okay? From a lot of, you know, old habits and behaviours. Break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So some of you may be stuck in a rut, you know, on that treadmill of life again a lot of us are being forced to pause and reflect at this time so maybe there's something you've always wanted to do that you've never had the courage to do but break free of routines break free of restricting yourself okay this is a good time i know it might not seem like it but it things will change soon and you can move on and try different things gain new experiences and that helps you to grow and learn We have care and connections. We have care and connections. So who can you reach out to at this time? Maybe there's somebody you've lost touch with or a distant family member or relative you haven't seen for some time. And it's time to show caring, you know, show you care. Reach out to those you care at this time. And we have appreciation. So, yeah, you know, this is like gratitude. You know, what you focus on, you know, what have you got to appreciate in your life? You know, from the smallest things in your life to the biggest things in your life. You know, focus on that. What do you have to appreciate in your life? You know, the people around you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, you know, neighbours you know, a pet who's loving and giving, you know, are you doing okay financially, you know, do you have a beautiful garden, you know, do you, you know, have the chance to go on nice holidays and things like that, you know, what is it that you appreciate about your life and about other people in it, okay, focus on that rather than the negative. And we've got in the near future, so I don't know what your question was about. But to me, this is talking about the situation at the moment, okay? I do feel in the near future, things are going to change, okay? And things will go back to normal 
you know, once this is all sorted out. So just have faith and belief in that, okay? Goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. So yeah, I do think we're coming into a new age. There's hope, you know, hopefully been quite a few awakenings amongst people. Um, connecting to the higher selves, to the divine, awakening to the is more than the 3D life that a lot of people are stuck in. There is much more out there for people. And it's saying goodbye to the old way of living, you know, and hello to the new, you know, and it's a much more interesting journey to go on and lots to explore. So just look forward to that. And your wisdom message is positivity. When you commit beyond the ordinary to a greater possibility, your positivity carries a powerful charge that backs up your greatest visions and attracts unexpected support from individuals and the universe. Miracles happen, the impossible becomes possible and you experience a vibrancy of life that pervades every cell in your body. Wisdom reminds you to be aware of the tangible power of positive thinking and to give full attention to your goals. Your thoughts can promote the success you aim for, transform your relationships, finances and heal your body. I'll say that again, and heal your body. I am positively focused today. It's very important to stay positive, even in very difficult circumstances, because what you focus on grows. And even though things seem tough, try and find the positive in it. There's always a positive situation and positive attracts positive into your life. OK, so just look at the positive, focus on that for yourself. OK, and that will, is what come in. And the affirmation is I am positively focused today. So when you th think of anything, when you feel about anything, keep it positive. So here we have Wednesday, Thursday, and the answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So for some of you out there, you may have had a question about something going on in your life. Obviously, this could be many things, but the answer is correct. It's yes, rather. And you need to learn to trust your intuition because your intuition is correct. So this is your gut feeling, your inner knowing. Sometimes you can't explain it. It's just a feeling you get, okay? And the more you connect to it and trust in it, the, the better it becomes. So just w w focus on working on your intuition and believing in yourself, okay? Believing in your intuition. Morning affirmations. Say so positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So this is a beautiful card. The Queen of Manifestation Affirmations was Louise Hay. I don't know if any of you have heard of her. She sadly passed um, a few years ago. She was in her 90s though. And she founded Hay House Publishing. She came from a very, very abusive uh, childhood. And overcome this um, to become a very successful you know coach um, and wrote many many books and a lot of her work is to do with affirmations which is just a positive statement to yourself okay and she I believe pioneered mirror work which when you speak to yourself in the mirror you know to help boost your self-esteem or whatever you are trying to attract into your life and positive affirmations are said as if you already have something in your life okay so for example i am in good health i am in good health i am in good health i am abundant i am abundant i am abundant you speak as if you already have that and that is what attracts it in so remember this is a very good tool morning affirmations and if you say them they say for 30 days you will start noticing results okay so try that Goddess of the Moon. So yeah, as I said, we have the new moon in Aries this week on the 24th. And the moon is very much a feminine energy. And it's, it's sort of mysterious in some ways, um, mystical. Um, some things could be hidden. You know, we don't often have that shining light, you know, the bright moon. You know, full moon and new moon, we have the brightest moons. 
and in between it's not quite so bright and as things are not always um, illuminated shall I say so this week some things will be coming to light I believe from the light of the moon from things that were hidden will come to light the world yes the world is in a bit of a crisis at the moment unfortunately and all of us on the planet you know are so lucky to live on mother gaia planet earth and we haven't treated her well and i ne think we need to rethink the way we are acting you know it's like if you had some a, a guest staying in your house and they basically trashed it made it dirty left rubbish everywhere you know and it just built up and built up and that's sort of how we're treating the earth and I know a lot more people are aware of this, but more of us need to become fully functioning in our way. We treat the planet and the animals on it. So we need to have that awareness. Okay. And two and nine together is 11, which is a very, very spiritual number. Okay. And it's also um, half of the twin flame numbers. And I think a lot of Twin Flames are going to be waking up to their mission on Earth at this time. As I say, coming out of the darkness into the light. And it's up to you. You know, the world we live in, the world you live in, in your own little corner of it, it's completely up to you because what you focus on grows, as I said before, you manifest your own reality. If you don't like your reality, change your thoughts. Okay, because changing your thoughts change your life. It's as simple as that. And it, obviously it's not as simple in practice because we get distracted and taken off course. But it is really up to you. So you have that power within you. Okay, just learn to work with it and grow with it and nurture it. Healing Healed Healer. Healing energy surrounds you in this situation. So that's a wonderful card. There's a lot of healing coming into the planet, okay? There's a lot of healers on the planet that are sending out positive healing energies to everybody. You know, love, compassion. We all have the capacity to heal within ourselves. Our body has the capacity to heal itself. You just need to be aware of this. Okay, so I'll say that again, healing, healed, healer. So there's going to be a lot of healing going on, okay, around the world. There are many people that are sending out this positive energy to help those others in need. And all it takes is a single thought and a focus of your intention. And you can send this by prayer or simply, you know, focusing your attention on that to help as many people as you can. So the wisdom message is reputation. Wherever you go, news of your character precedes you. So act with honour, wisdom and in a wholesome way at all times. Your good name will engender cooperation and lighten your challenges. However, wisdom reminds you that living up to your reputation can also act as a break if it causes you to stay with the safe and familiar. Check within how people's perceptions of you serve you or hold you back. Act with integrity. And as you grow, so will your reputation. You will be trusted and respected. Affirmation. I build my reputation with integrity. So to me, this is, you know, in my life, I, I never make a promise I can't keep. If I want to help, you know, if somebody asks me for help and I'm not sure if I can help, I will always be honest about that and say I will try my best. Never make false promises to people. You might do it with the best of intentions, but when you let people down, you lose their trust, you lose their respect. So if people ask you to do something, just say you will try your best and then they will respect you more for that, okay? Because we can't always deliver things, even though we might try our hardest. And if you promise to deliver something without checking on the other circumstances and then you fail to deliver, people feel they can't trust you. And that you're not good at your word. So just be aware of this. Just just be true to who you are. Just be honest. Just act with integrity. Just, you know, 
do the best you can in any situation, but don't lead people on falsely and make false promises. So now we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's quite a heavy week. Friendship. Make a date for a play date with one or more friends. So if you're able to, meet up with some friends that you haven't seen or connect with them over the phone or Skype or text. You know, just reconnect with these people that are special to you, you know. And they can bring out the joy in us, the good times. We can reminisce maybe over good times. And, you know, having that quality time with somebody we love is very beneficial to our health and well-being. Alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. So, yeah, this is about turning metal into gold, isn't it, alchemy? That's, you know, the original meaning of the saying. But to me, alchemy is about changing, you know, it could be anything like changing a negative into a positive, for example. So, again, I'm going to talk about thoughts. So, if you've been in a quite a negative mindset and a very depressed mindset, you can change your thoughts, okay? Use alchemy, change your thoughts to positive. And it might be difficult for you, but try, because it's saying you have that Midas touch. And whatever you do will turn to gold. So the positive thoughts will bring in that positivity into your life. And it makes so much difference. And you will have your spirits will lift so much. And it will affect the people around you as well. So it's really worth trying that. <clears throat> the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So the seventh chakra is the crown chakra. And a lot of people have said to me the word corona means crown. So as I said before... There is some awakening going on in, in the population around the world. Okay, and the crown chakra is the seventh chakra and it connects you to the divine, to your higher self, to the universe, to all those guides and angels, those energetic beings, our galactic brothers and sisters on the other planets. You know, this opens your crown chakra to connect fully to the other side, you know, of, of our world, you know, away from the 3D to the 5D to the 12D, you know, open your connection, okay, open your connection to the divine, because it will assist you in your life to come, there are many beings out there willing to assist us at this time, especially, deceit, I'm sorry, but to me, there, there has been a lot of deceit in the world at the moment, it's very hard to know who to believe, who to trust. You know, media reporting is like wildfire. You know, what do you believe, really? You know, and that's why you have to learn to work with your intuition. Okay, work with your intuition. This card is number 25, which is 7, and it's a very spiritual number. <clears throat> so this is a message from spirit that there is deceit around, okay? So use your intuition to know who you can trust. Who resonates for you as, as saying the truth? You know, don't take your truth from other people. Take it from within yourself. Listen to your intuition. And the more you use it, the more it will grow. As I say, you can't trust everything you read or see on the media. Okay? You can't trust necessarily the people in power. Okay? So just trust your intuition. Work with your intuition to know what is your truth. What is your truth? Because there is, there is deceit around us at this time. <clears throat> Cornucopia. So, yeah, we, we could have this, you know, we can have this abundance, basically. And look at it, it's the number 11, you know, the spiritual number. You know, this this wonderful planet of, of light and compassion and love and cooperation and connectedness and divine inspiration you know it's all available to us we just need to change our minds and change our outlook and our, our awareness open our awareness as i say work with your intuition meditate do yoga do some sort of spiritual practice to connect and open your crown chakra but we can have all this you just need to believe Be assertive. 
You can be assertive about being horrible to people. It's just about standing up for yourself and making sure that people are not walking all over you or putting you down at any time. So be assertive in your life. Stick up for yourself. Stick up for your beliefs. Stick up for yourself as a person. What What is it that you believe? What is it that you feel somebody is like trying to whitewash you or put you down? You know, stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Be assertive. And you have the key. There's a massive key he's got there. You have the key of knowledge to do this. Connect with nature. You've rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So yeah, being outdoors in nature is very healing, very restorative. This card is the colour of the, the heart chakra, the green of the heart. This will help open your heart. And when your heart is open, you can connect more to other people. You have more compassion and love and understanding for other people. And just being in nature, you know, the air is clearer. You know, you can com connect with the elementals, you know, hug a tree, you know, go by the ocean, whatever is something that resonates for you. It's very healing and you'll feel much better for doing this. Spend time outside whenever you can, okay? Self-worth. Self-worth is dependent on other people's feedback is fragile, for it's only when you know yourself that you begin to recognise your true value. Be confident and steadfast. Acknowledge you're an amazing being and develop deep self-respect so that you become your number one fan. This internal club of one is more powerful than millions on the outside. Wisdom prompts you to recognise the extraordinary in yourself. Then you will also see what is special in others and the universe. Your experience of life will be transformed. Affirmation. Everything is perfect. I am perfect. Self-worth, as we said, be assertive. You know, have that belief in yourself. Have that knowledge that you are worthy of being treated right. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of respect. You know, you are confident. You are knowledgeable. Okay, have that self-worth in yourself. Because until you do, other people won't respect you. So have that self-worth in your life about yourself and know that you demand and deserve other people's respect so that was quite a deep reading i didn't expect that this week i hope that has given you some insights as to what's going on in the world um please like share subscribe and comment down below if you'd like a personal reading from me please email me at soulmagic99 at gmail.com and I will oblige. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing and, and your many lovely comments. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a really good week. Sending you lots of love and healing. Take care. Bye for now.